friends, welcome to Minneapolis. I came in last night and it is Thursday today. So the plan is to work a little today, which I already did. You kind of saw me do my morning work session, which was good. Um, just like want to get ahead of emails. I'm like such an anxious person that I don't like to take PTO because I don't like to get behind, which is ridiculous. I also just had therapy um, with a dietitian, which is going to be really helpful for me. And I might talk about that a little bit more later. But right now, I am just going to have some food, some lunch here, because I'm about to leave. As you can see, I made a bunch of meal prep or ingredient prep. So this is just a fuck ton of chicken and this is just a fuck ton of rice. Um, and I am just going to measure a little bit of this out. It's a little early for lunch. It's only 1130, but I am about to head downtown Minneapolis and have like a little work sesh at a very cute coffee shop. So I'm kind of on my tracking shit again, but I did start tracking earlier this week because I just feel like and this is messed up, hence why I am going to be working with a dietitian now, but I just feel like I want to control a little bit more about my diet, especially when I'm not feeling so great about my body and stuff. So I put just a tiny bit of avocado on it, um, but we are gonna put some G. Hughes sweet chili sauce. This shit is so good. Moment for the fit. Just plain old little t-shirt on from Zara. These jeans are from Zara. These shoes are Mindy's, they're Sorel's. So kind of like a like sporty, cute vibe. And then I have my little trenchy coat because it's only like 45 outside. Let's go. Wait, it's actually so beautiful out right now. I thought it was cold. But yesterday on the drive here from Madison, like it was snowing basically the whole way, which is weird because usually Minnesota is colder and has more snow than Wisconsin. So. I just really love this city so freaking much. I would move here a literal heartbeat if Mike did not have his dream job in Madison. Ugh, it's just so beautiful out today too, which is amazing. And now, so I could not find street parking to save my life because there is a baseball game of sorts going on apparently. So I parked in this random lot. And I am trying to figure out now how to get to the coffee shop from here. I, oh, it looks like I'm pretty close. Five minute walk, so yes. We're on our way to Backstory Coffee. I have to remember where the fuck I parked. Itasca, okay. Pff, wouldn't that be some shit? I like lose my car. <laughs> drive around to find parking and like part of me was like just like go home this is like 
more of a pain in the ass than it's worth, but I'm glad I stayed and I want to start doing more like spontaneous things like that. your norm sometimes especially when you're you know like out traveling or you're in a place that's not your home and enjoy my life instead of having all these checklist items that I do every single day that honestly don't make me that happy but make me feel productive it's beautiful it's like 50 degrees today the sun is out it just feels really warm really nice because it is to be spring soon and so 50 degrees in April feels super freaking warm. I'm just gonna sit here in the sun for a little bit. Okay I'm so excited because I ordered just a ton of stuff from H&M and it's here. Every time I order clothing items from anywhere online and it comes in a box I feel like I might have overdone it, you know? Because if it comes in a box, it means you ordered a lot of stuff. <laughs> I ordered duplicates of some things because I didn't know what size I want. And I know we're going to the Mall of America tomorrow, so I'm able to easily return whatever I don't want. But I ordered some skirts, some blazers, some, this is like a crop top, and yeah, let's try it on. Okay, item one is this jean skirt. I think it's a little too big, like, doesn't look quite right. I ordered an eight. I'm definitely more a six, but I was afraid it was gonna like dig in. So Ugh, this next skirt, I also got an eight. I don't know why I got eight. I know that I am more a six. Shoot. Okay, I like this. What do we think? Okay, my camera's going to die, but I really like this. The skirt is a little big and I think it's meant to be not like high-waisted obviously. I don't know how I feel about my belly button now. That makes me feel weird. But I feel like little loafies and crop blazer. I don't know. I like it. I remember trying this jean top on in the store in a size small and it being too small for me and I got a medium and it's too big. Like she's simply not going to stay up. Just got home, settling in, went through my H&M order. Honestly, like most of it's probably gonna be returned. It, a lot of it doesn't fit quite right. Um, I don't know what happened, but I must've been having like a really like bloated day where I thought I was an eight because most of the eights are too big and historically I've been a six. So I don't know what I was thinking, but we're gonna spend the day at the Mall of America tomorrow. So I'm gonna return a lot of it then. Um, but yeah, I just kind of put some like glowy um, like highlighter on my face and my sister's on her way home from work. We're gonna go for a stroll and then tonight we're getting dinner. I really wanna fish fry somewhere and then I think we're also gonna go to the casino because I am love the casino, bro. <laughs> Big casino girly. <laughs>
didn't win anything at the casino, but had so much fun per usual. Probably gonna spend way too much money. All right, got all our returns. H and M, Zara. Protocols the first three months out of the year because 
I just, I have to take it easy and it's a part of the process. It's a part of healing, but it is hard. I am humbled and it's, yeah, it just kind of sucks because I used to be really strong with, especially with my pressing movements and I just feel like I'm lacking so much there right now. But I know I'm able to go back there. My muscles are just very, very fatigable. put these bubble braids in we'll see if they stay dress is from dry goods sheer tights boots i think these are like steve madden concert ready
parents got divorced when I was uh, five years old. And I saw my father about three times a year after that. Your pizza. Yep. I'm about to warm up some fucking chicken. Freaking chicken. Huh? Freaking chicken. Oh, Bells, are you hungry? Hey, Bells, come say hello. Come here. Yeah, it feels good to be home. We ordered an Uber before the show ended. It was a good call because we got home in like 10 minutes as opposed to waiting like an hour and a half for an Uber. Missed out on a couple songs, but that is okay. <sighs> Feels good to be home, but that was amazing. Always is. We're not even going to talk about what day it is because after the Fall Out Boy show, I completely just... Poof, gone, no more vlogging. <laughs> but I had such an amazing time in Minneapolis. It's a week later now. I really wish it was last week this time because we were doing so many fun things and I had such a good time with my sister and it was just amazing. It was, it was so much fun and so relaxing and just such a good time. Um, but I came home on Sunday so I could start my work week here at home in Madison and the drive home was fucking terrible, you guys. Like, it took me 
at least five hours. It's a four hour trip usually, but the weather was terrible the entire way, like so bad. There was pouring rain. There were so many cars on the road, like traffic up the ass. And I could not use cruise control the entire time because there was just so much traffic. And then also there was construction, of course. So there was like standstill traffic for part of it. It was exhausting. It is crazy how exhausting a drive is. Like sitting on your ass, you'd think you'd be energized, ready to go, but really not the case. I was just donezo the rest of the day. But I hope you enjoy this vlog. I'm on my phone right now because my memory cards aren't working. Love that for me. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to kind of do a little outro for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching.